Uh, it's a great pleasure for us today to welcome warmly Professor Suvarno Isaac Barry uh, to this university, Borderland University. He is considered to be the youngest professor of the world and not just that, he is also an expert in mathematics and physics. So when such is his talent, naturally we have a lot of things to learn from him and he is a big inspiration for the students and faculty of the entire region, not just the students of this university. So we have that wonderful opportunity today. I am sure that the students will be inspired enough, inspired enough to go after knowledge. So once we consider knowledge to be very much ritualistic, so now, at least with the presence of this particular scholar and expert, we have the realization that no, knowledge is something wonderful, knowledge is power, knowledge is miracle. Whatever may be the situation, the world still welcomes knowledge. The of knowledge on this planet. A big round of applause for the spectacular performance by the students of Berlin University. Sir, we would like to hear from you a few lines about yourself, your family and Suborno. So we would like to request him to please share some of his points with us. Namaskar. Ami Banglai bolbo. Come on. Shubhono John Mugraham kore chhe. April maashe noy terik. 2012 shalay. New York ke. United States. To 2014 shalay. Amar stri oke porat chilo. One plus one equal what? And Shubhana Uttur Chilo, one plus one to the Dui Hoi, Taole N plus N equal to what, mom? Tarma, Horat Kore Shikok, Tiket Satro Hegelo, She Bustepar Chilona, Utter Jobab Kiba Vedebe. So, Tarma eta amake janalen. Airport ami take kisuta chesta kolom, amar motokure shikate. To she jokon charibosu hegelo, to she tokon amake porano shurukolo. Airport airport ami baddohoe amar shikok there astro in the nito আমার বিভিন্ন ইউনিভার্সিটির প্রফেসরদের কারণ ওর প্রশ্নগুলির উত্তর আমি খুঁজে পাচ্ছিলাম না তো এখন তো আপনারা শুনলেন ও 11 বছর আপনারা ওর জন্য আশীর্বাদ করবেন নমস্কার to be able to uh, speak to you all right now. And I am so honored that you have chosen to help me communicate math and science to you. So I love math and science very, de very dearly, and I hope that by the end of this session, you will love it too. So before, uh, I think this is an interactive session, so you, you will get to ask some questions uh, on the spot and I will answer them, but before, uh, anything like that, I wanted to give a brief lecture about infinity and how math uh, isn't always going to fall into your hands. So, uh, I guess let's start with that. Infinity is a very confusing number 
Uh, some say it's not even a number. Some are confused by the concept. It's just something that you can't grasp. It's something that you can't pull into the real. Oh, something you can't pull into the real world, no matter how f uh, hard you try. It's too uh, way too far away for uh, from anything your brain can comprehend, and so that makes it really weird to work with. Uh, it's really just the concept of something too big to surpass. But, I mean, can't you add one? Can't you add two? So there's a concept of different amounts of infinities, but we'll get to that later. So what does infinity really mean? Why do we use it? Why do we define things like it? Well, we don't just define it for fun. We don't define it uh, because we wanted to. And we define it because it's a useful notion. Sometimes to describe the real world, we have to leave it. So, infinity is an example of that, along with other examples like every irrational number, uh, examples like E, complex numbers, pi, the golden ratio, phi. Uh, negative numbers themselves are technically uh, are not a real concept, but these are the things that we have to pull into real uh, pull out of real life in order to depict the real world. So, uh, sometimes, uh, technically, I think I've he heard somewhere that you can't do math without complex numbers, but you'll run into notation issues everywhere. It's extremely hard. Sometimes we define things for convenience, not because they are actually a parallel to the real world. So, math can be hard to imagine sometimes, but you don't always have to get a good grasp uh, or a good hold on what something is. Just to be able to work with the concept, you don't have to fully understand exactly what you're working with. Because no one can truly pull the square root of minus one or something that's infinitely big into the real world. In fact, now we have a study, uh, now we have a study of infinities themselves. Well, not really. It's a sub, it's a sub, subtopic of set theory. Uh, it's what uh, people call cardinality, which is essentially measuring the size of infinite sets. So, infinity is a very untangible concept. And sometimes we have to keep it that way. Sometimes we can't quite enter, the, uh, we can't quite uh, stay within the real world when describing it. So, don't feel overwhelmed if you just can't get a grasp on what you're working with when it comes to math. You, uh, you sometimes have to rework your brain to get into the details. But once you understand the details and you've done the details, you can mostly gloss over them. But don't let this encourage you to totally ignore them. So, uh, th that's all for me, I guess. Math isn't always going to be just a parallel to the real world. Math doesn't just always describe something in reality. Sometimes uh, we have to go a little further than that, and that's okay. So don't feel overwhelmed when trying to understand concepts like these. I guess that's all. So uh, that's all I want to say for now. Uh, you have talked about infinity and you have given some examples also like pi, right? Mm -hmm. So, can you give us some real life example on infinity? Uh, well, as I said in my speech, there is no good, good example of infinity in real life. We mostly use infinity, I guess, as a notion uh, for convenience. Uh, like x as x approaches infinity, and just as x keeps increasing, for example, uh, because infinity is not a real, uh, because you can argue that infinity is not an actual quantified number, uh, and it's just something that we do, I guess, uh, uh, for convenience, instead of as representing a real world concept, because infinity is just something uh, that we'll never get close to. There were only 10 to the 80 particles in the universe. Uh, that's an estimate from a different scientist, I think, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, I wouldn't trust that estimate fully, but 10 to the
the 80 is still, no matter how big it is, nowhere close to infinity. Nothing will ever be anywhere close to infinity. So, I couldn't, I don't think I can give you uh, to, uh, quite an example in the real world. I'm sorry if I'm missing something obvious, uh, like uh, the golden ratio or something else, but...